loves and welcome back for more cleaning motivation it's Regina here thank you so much for clicking on this video today's video is jammed packed with cleaning motivation we are putting up groceries mopping sweeping um, disinfecting the kitchen knobs everything so we are gonna hop right into it start by putting away all of my groceries I picked up some lemonade orange juice apple juice a few cans of um, Campbell's chicken noodle soup which is my favorite and some cold brew coffee so now all that is put away and now I need to start decluttering these countertops I don't know how all this stuff clicks but it does just not putting things back where they were and just leaving them there is how the countertops get cluttered i know how i'm just <laughs> in shock every week every single week regular wheat bread brioche bread uh, muffins it <laughs> i just feel like we have so much bread on the counter i honestly need to get a bread box because the bread has taken over Cause I want you 
kitchen pro to wipe down the countertops for Caleb so I just put the peels to the side and I decided to put that with my vinegar this is how you can like easily give vinegar like a little bit of smell and extra cleaning power the oil from the uh, orange peels will help clean and they will also help the smell of vinegar if you don't like the like really strong vinegar smell you can also use like mint you can use lemon peels um, cinnamon sticks you can add whatever you want to it to infuse the vinegar I just use whatever I have left over. If I have a, if I'm using a lemon to cook, I just keep the peels. If I have, if Kayla wants the orange, I just keep the orange peels and throw it in the vinegar. And you also want to let this sit for at least two days. Mine has been sitting for like two weeks because <laughs> I broke my spray bottle that I put my vinegar in. So I need to run to the good old Dollar Tree and get um, a few more bottles. But it doesn't hurt the vinegar at all and when you take it out you just strain it and put it in your spray bottle and you are good to go Watch me My sink was full of dishes so of course we're gonna put all of these dirty dishes in the dishwasher and everything I don't put in the dishwasher which is usually my 
um, larger pots and pans I'm going to hand wash and I am using the Cascade Oxy and the dishwasher with finish um, jet dry and y'all already know what I use to wash my dishes it's done 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 and I've been using the done platinum um for a while now I get it at Sam's like the big jug and I love it it smells so good and a little bit goes a long way of course, y'all know your girl likes a good cocktail if you follow me over on Instagram. And I had used this cocktail shaker, and y'all, I could not get this freaking top off. I do not know why. I was struggling. So I'm cleaning the sink where the dirty dishes were so I don't get any of that nastiness on my clean dishes as I rinse. And I'm washing. Hide it, but you had me from the get go. Oh, 
Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little, and we keep track of time. Being so serious, idiots thinking it will matter. Keep me company downtown before the clock runs out. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. Friends are nearby, don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around, and then I remember all things must pass. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. I'm not ready, let me have another day. Don't wake up, wake up. Cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up. Now it is time to clean this greasy stove. I'm using my awesome orange um, degreaser. And initially I was just gonna wipe this down, but when I ugh, when I realized how much um burnt on I guess grease or whatever it is from like the pans, pots and pans was on the stove, I had to pull out the razor and just give it a good scraping. Um, this does not scratch my glass top, but as you can tell, my glass top is quite um, aged, seasoned. It's the original stove that was in the house when we moved in, so you can see that it's a little damaged, but it's that's not from the razor that was like that when we bought the house. must pass but i'm not gonna wake up wake up i'm not ready let me have another day don't wake up wake up keep it steady cause i'm happy i'm not gonna wake up Got this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason why I should ever let you go mm -hmm. I don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me to how many of you guys use your self-cleaning setting on your oven? Um, initially, I did not. I just started using mine. I think I've used it maybe twice. But um, I did a cleaning of the oven, like manual cleaning of the oven first because it was so gross. Um, the first time I ran it, I think I ran it for like 30 minutes, like the first time ever. And I don't even think I made it to 30 minutes. Y'all, that thing was producing so much smoke because my oven was so nasty. So after that, I just decided to go and get some easy off and, and manually clean the oven first. And um, since then, I've ran it twice. And the first time, it was like a little smoky and the smell was like, ugh. So I had to open up the window. But the second time was not bad at all. So I think if you do it like more often, <clears throat> maybe like once a month or once every other week, if you use your oven a lot, 
um, it won't produce as bad of a smell and it won't produce um, a lot of smoke. I don't wanna wake up. No, I don't wanna wake up. I don't wanna wake up without you, baby, without. is done it is time to steam my my floor 
I bought this steam mop a minute ago. I don't use it very, very often. I've been using it more often now because my spin mop broke. So now I'm just going to add some essential oils to the mop uh, pads. And these pads are clean. <laughs> They've been washed and bleached. But um, they just will not get back like white, white. Which is fine. Um, I'm adding some orange oil. And I think I added some, I don't know, tea tree oil or something. I don't even know what it was. Um, just to give it like a little bit of smell and no, I don't put it in the water tank because it says not to, and I don't want to mess up my, um, sting mop, but I love the sting mop. Now, if, if, if you use like a Dyson or, or a cordless stick back, then you're used to like the weight of the top. Um, if you have issues with things being top heavy or having a lot of weight on your wrist or like arthritis or something like that i would not recommend this steam mop because the top of it is heavy like the motor is in the top the water is in the top all of the weight is in the handle uh where you hold it so you um if you have issues with like joint pain and stuff i i wouldn't recommend it what i do love about it is you can take it apart you can take the bottom part off where you just saw where i put the um mop head and steam actually comes out of that so you can use that to uh, steam clean your like shower heads and stuff like that um and then the stick comes off as well and you can use it as a hand steamer and i use that part to clean in my bathroom and i use it to clean like around the bottom of my toilet um around the um faucet um, around the toilet uh, connections where the toilet seat connects to the toilet and stuff like that um, and it is really good for that it also comes with all of these attachments so it has like a grout attachment it has like a little brush attachment that you can use a little scraper attachment you can get like labels and things off with that um, it is very multi-purpose Oh, it is also linked down in the description box if you want to click on the link and check it out and or buy it. The news, boy, you really need to understand that I don't want to be your girlfriend, girlfriend. No, I don't want to be your girlfriend, girlfriend. All I want is to with my girlfriend's girlfriend. So I don't This is the final result, you guys. It's so clean. Ah! This is how everything looks now. As you can see, the kids wasted no time putting more dishes in the sink. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.